crew welcome back to my channel and welcome to all my newbies today as you can see we are relaxing today well not really relaxing because as you can see i'm doing my hair but today is a take care of me day okay so today i have my hair washed and we are going to be using revlon hair dryer and styler okay so i am natural i have been natural for more than three years and i lost countless over i want to say at least four years but I do not use heat on my hair. So the last time I used heat on my hair was about two years ago when I got a silk press. But otherwise than that, I let my hair air dry naturally. Um, but today, I need my hair stretched out a bit, so I'm going to be using this hair dryer and styler. All right, this one I really can't wait to use because unlike the other ones that have the bristles all around, this one is like a paddle brush, which is really good for our natural hair. So let's see what's in this box. It's big enough so it looks like it can handle all of this hair that I have on my head. And it is a cute black and pink color love it and this brand is Revlon all right so I already prepped my hair I washed it um, deep conditioned shampooed and I put a deep conditioning treatment that I made myself with avocado aloe vera egg mayonnaise um, sea moss gel honey and what else I think that was it but yeah, my hair feels so amazing. I love using that mix and it is my homemade um, hair mask or deep conditioning mask, whatever you would like to call it. But every time I make this for my hair and I use it, it makes my hair feel so soft. It rejuvenates my curls. Um, Alright, so we are going to be using this today. I have my hair section off and I'm going to start with the bottom right side of my hair. First, I'm going to add my leave-in conditioner. Today, I'm using TGIN, thank God it's natural. And I will be doing a video um, review on this product because I love them so much. But I'm going to apply my leave-in conditioner and just massage it through. Here feels amazing in this. Make sure you get those ends really well. And then I'm also applying my daily moisturizer. Now I won't be applying any oil until after I finish blow drying just because oil and heat, I believe it kind of like fries the hair. So I will save the oil till after we finish blow drying. All right, so my moisturizer is all in. All right. Definitely check out the shrinkage and check out the after, okay? to do small sections at a time being that I don't know how much hair this dryer can take all right so we're gonna start with this So the settings are off, cool, low, and high. So we're going to start with low.
doing this I currently have it on high I can feel the heat coming from up here not so much down here so it looks like most of the heat is coming from the top of the brush um, yeah the air is coming from the top of the brush I'm gonna turn this so low because I don't want heat damage in my hair Results. Can y'all see this? I am impressed. Okay. All right, so I got the first quarter of my hair done. I did not blow dry it until it was completely dry. Um, it's still damp. I don't want to have it bone dry, but I am going to go through it one more time because the roots are not dry. And I did spray some heat protectant. this on high this definitely gets extremely hot so I believe I'm just going to use it on low because I do not want it to burn my hair moisturizer all right so the second half of my hair is done like I said not bone dry but dry enough that I can run my hands through it one side down one more to go Yeah, I cut a chunk of my hair out, y'all. I cut a chunk of my hair out because it was tangled and I did not feel like taking forever, trying to take forever to get this out, but it just had to go. So.
what I have been doing is being that the high setting on here is like extremely hot, like too hot. Um, I have been using the cool option, the cool blows out cool air. I've been using that to kind of semi dry my hair so I won't have to struggle combing through it. Um, once I'm able to go through it, then I'll turn it up to the low setting, which is hot, but it's a lower um, force of air, basically. Same amount of heat. A little bit, no. It's a little bit cooler, but it's still hot, and I use that to dry it. And then when I'm done, I spray some heat protectant. On my hair, make sure I get my ends. And then I'm going to go to the high and run it through a couple of times just to make sure it's all over. <laughs> Your girl is done, okay? Oh, I don't remember the last time my hair was blown out. It was about three years ago. <sighs> now I think I'm exaggerating, two years ago. When I got my silk press, which I believe it was two years, but yeah, let's see. All right, so I am going to rate this. Um, out of a 10, I give it a 7. I really like it. Um, it's easy to use. It dried my hair fairly quickly. The reason why I gave it a 7 is because, one reason, the knob at the bottom, it's like when you're doing your hair, of course you're going to have moisturizer and things on your hands. And it's like my hands hurt now from twisting this. It's like it's not easy to twist, maybe because I have the moisturizer on my hand, but my hands are kind of in pain from twisting this on and off um, so that's one con that I didn't like the second con is that of course we all want a high setting on our blow dryer but this was extremely hot I don't know if you guys could see in the camera um, when I turned it on high it's like after a while you know heat started coming out I believe that is extremely too hot and that will give heat damage so I would definitely um, probably not really use the high setting um, so that's the second con. Um, yeah, I think that was only two cons. Oh, and the handle, you're supposed to hold hair. Up here gets really hot, of course, because it's a brush. But I feel like I only, it's uncomfortable to hold it down here. When I hold it here, I can still feel the heat. Um, down here, you don't feel any heat, but it's uncomfortable. So they need to make the handle a little bit better to where it won't get as hot. Um, but overall, I really enjoy using this on my hair. Like I said, it's been a while, a very long time since I've had my hair straightened. Um, it's not fully straightened, of course, but it's straightened enough to where it's been a while. Um, but I will leave this in the description box below so you can definitely check it out. Let me know how you enjoyed this video. If you are natural, have you straightened your hair before? Um, do you use heat on your hair? And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, and hit that notification bell so you can get notified for all my upcoming videos and until the next video